Destiny, the Valkyrie are holding camp, taking on newcomer to XK. The IV Rehydration Specialist. KO, the Savage, Nina Marie. Now, this is going to be Destiny Oldenkamp's first Muay Thai fight. This is an amateur fight, which we already know. No reinforced knees, no elbows. Now, for Destiny Oldenkamp, she's already proven herself well beyond that she belongs in the sport of MMA, and now she's going to signify why she belongs in Muay Thai. Yeah, we, we have seen Destiny many, many times. Terrific fighter, MMA. Like you say, she's coming in now, she's gonna do Muay Thai. That being said, how can she make, you know, again, with the gloves, kind of like Austin Powers earlier. You're making transition to these big pillow gloves. You only have your, your you only have your weapons are your, are your hands and your feet and your knees. How is that gonna, how are you gonna transfer? Well, there's more to the story that I like to talk about. This fight wasn't actually supposed to happen. Destiny Oldenkamp was supposed to fight Kristen the Hellcat Katina. That's right. For the Amateur Straw Weight Championship that's, that's title right. of the world for yes. XKO. Yeah. Uh, the Hellcat sustained a broken a, a, thumb? An or actual finger. tendon torn. Oh, torn. torn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, thumb. She, yeah. Th she was not able to fight. That, that's right. So that fight is going to be postponed. But on the other hand, um, Destiny's opponent, Nina the Savage Marie, her opponent actually is not able to continue to fight. So this fight was actually thrown together this week, last minute. Well, you gotta like a thrown together fight. And now we have making her way to the cage, Christina Nina the Savage Vital. Well, I like to see the Savage. Yeah, she's definitely 1-0 in Muay Thai. She comes out of Saxon Jinjani. Yep. So you already know, coming out of Saxon's camp, yeah, you're gonna have a she's terrific, gonna be a beast. You're gonna have a terrific Muay Thai beast. background. Yeah. yeah. Top quality training. Now, again, it's like we talked about earlier in the program, Antonio, you got a team behind you, but once you step into that cage, it's up to you. So Christina Vitel, who's going to be walking into the into our cage next, is one and zero as an amateur in Muay Thai, taking on Destiny Ogulcamp in her first Muay Thai fight. But again, with Destiny, she has got plenty of experience in MMA, and we've had her fight for her several times in the past. So we'll just see how the transfer is made. Destiny be in the gray top with the black shorts, just so that we're clear. To those of you watching at home, Christina Vitel will be in the all black, the gold trim. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is brought to you by the Hydro Pros. It is scheduled for three rounds in the XKO Muay Thai Strawweight Division. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the next bank blue corner, she's trained in jiu-jitsu and boxing. She is making her amateur Muay Thai debut. She stands five feet, two inches tall, weighing in 114 and a half pounds. Fighting out of Watauga, Texas, presenting Destiny, the Valkyrie! Holden Cup! And now across the cage, her opponent, fighting out of the Jim Ross red corner. She is trained in Muay Thai. She holds an amateur record. One victory, zero defeats. She stands five feet, three inches tall, weighing in 115 pounds, fighting out of Dallas, Texas, presenting to Savage Nina Marie. Referee, Aaron Menard. All right, fighters, get over the rules in the back. Protect yourself at all times and obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves if you want. Let's do this. All right, so touch of the gloves here.
Destiny in the short block. Christina in the black and gold. All right, here we go, fight fans. A fight that was not meant to be, but is actually here now. Boy, I tell you what, man, this is this is a tell of two fighters. Oh, that's a nice cross. You know, Christina, man, you see those crisp kicks. Oh, two shots right now to Destiny, throwing her back a little bit. Yeah, and Destiny's going to be happy to go forward. And that's the thing about Destiny Oldenkamp. She always pushes forward. There's the clinch. There's the knee to the body. She's got to get out, and there she wants to finish off with a kick. She said in all of her camp for the last four or five months, all she's trained was stand-up. No ground at all whatsoever. Well, I, I, I got to tell you, I mean, she she does look a lot, really a lot different with her stand-up, and I mean that in a great way. She's quicker. She's Her movement looks really good. And we're seeing a different destiny here. You know, this is the first time that we're seeing the Savage. Oh, the nice. Oh, wow. Oh, two that big, threw it back. Two big punches by Christina. And that definitely woke up the, yeah. uh, the Valkyrie. <laughs> yeah, Destiny's like, all right, all right. I see what you got. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. You know, if you look at the footwork, I got to hand it to, uh, to Nina, man. Her footwork coming out of Jackson. Uh, Saxon Sinjari, man, wow. Just wow on her footwork, man. Yeah, yeah, she, I mean, yeah, she, she looks, I mean, look at the size of her legs. It's freaking awesome, isn't it? You know, she, I mean, Destiny's got big legs, but Christina's got real big legs. And I mean muscle, I'm not talking, I mean, these muscle. Well, if you look at the body type, if you look at the body type, look at how Christina is. She keeps herself very slender to where you only get one angle on it if you can. Yeah, but De then, Destiny has more of a more of a traditional boxing. Yes. Yeah, you know, you know, like an MMA fighter. There's a little bit of squaring up there. Destiny focused on her opponent, the Savage Nina Marie. Nina, Nina throwing a nice right. Yeah, she comes with that cross really, really well. She's going down for the bread basket there, and then getting a couple shots right there. Wait, the, you see Destiny. Oh, you both see, exchanges. Yeah, and you see to. Destiny throwing combos, too. It's not just one or two punches. She's throwing three or four punches in a row. And uh, she's, she's going to have to move forward with those punches to make contact, but she is throwing combinations. You know, I got, oh, oh, nice exchange between the two of them. These ladies are definitely going to work. Inside, outside leg kick, throwing the jab. Yeah, there's some, there's some, I'm telling you, there's some business going on here, my friend. I'm telling you, I, I like the fact that they're both doing more. Oh, wow. She just grazed, barely grazed the chin there of the Valkyrie. Yeah, I, I tell you, Christina's very, very, I like her. She's quick. She's crisp. You see, she throws that jab out quick, gets it back to the same position. Same thing with her cross. Really well trained. Well, her timing is really throwing off the, back, the Valkyrie. Last 10 seconds. But the Valkyrie's not having any problem staying in the staying in the fire. She yeah. likes that close that, cro that close quarters. Yeah, but I don't want to. One thing I'm, I'm noticing with Destiny is when she's throwing her cross, she comes up high. For okay. me, me, she's she's yeah. almost sure her body's lifting forward. She needs to keep that chin that chin tucked. I was actually going to say that she's doing a great job keeping her chin tucked when she she was except when she throws the cross. Okay, she, you'll see her saying. kind of pick up. Yeah, she comes up a little bit higher. Okay, and now that is something that I think that you're going to see with a lot of MMA fighters. But with Destiny training in boxing, she keeps it down 80% of the time. But then when you're saying she's throwing it, it's coming up. So that's something that they definitely. So that's one thing that they definitely want to do in preparing going forward in this fight. Yeah, most most definitely. You know, you notice something else they need to do is between rounds. They really need to focus on us talking about the fight. Well, that's what they need to do. Is that the case? I don't know, guys. I mean, I don't know. I wanna, Antonio's I pretty. I, I'm not. Yeah, but I want to hear what's going on inside the corners. Like, I want to hear what Destiny's camp is telling her. I think she forgot that it's a two-minute break. Well, that's all right. I mean, she's up on her feet. She's getting the blood so, flowing. Destiny's always in such great shape, man. She just shredded. Right. But, you know, I'm looking over here at Saxon's son working over there on Nita. Yep. He, he's telling her, I mean, I'm imagining he's saying, stay loose, keep loose. Stay on the balls of your feet. That's a Muay Thai, that's a Muay Thai faction right there. Well, I'm going to tell you, you want to hear what I, my, my advice would be? What's that? When she throws her punches, she's got Christina's attention. 
she needs to fire a leg kick immediately I once the hands you. are in the yeah, face. Yeah. No hesitation. Throw it. Almost in combination with that, with that, because Destiny will not see that leg kick coming. But look at Destiny, man. She is not even trying oh, to listen, sit down. Oh, de 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 Destiny's a beast. She's not even trying to sit down. She's she a beast, wants to get man. back to work. Nina makes her way to the center of the cage. I mean, she's ready for war. Yeah, she is. Round number two, ladies and gentlemen, this three-round fight. NXK 050, Scott Croft with Antonio Perkins. Thanks for being here. The Savage Nina Marie in the black and gold. The Valkyrie Oldenkamp in the black and gray. Yeah, I tell you, they're both exchanging very well with the punches. And Christina's got a little bit longer of reach, obviously, but there's that cross. And Christina, that cross is so crisp. You know, I feel like Oldenkamp has been here before when she has fought. Um, who was it? Des uh, Desiree, Dirty Des, Mike Ben. That was, a, that was a great fight. This seems like, this seems like a very similar fight. Well, to that. well, I, obviously Destiny's striking ability has far improved from when she she had that fight. Well, I got to tell you, man, right now it, Nina's doing everything Muay Thai correct. I mean, she's shifting those legs. She's going in for the There's that kick. inside outside leg kick. If you look, oh, she's oh, going she, for she an axe for, kick. She was going for an axe kick. Good call, Antonio. One thing I like to see Destiny do is make her make her a little harder to hit. More left to right, less front and back. A little more left to right. Move her, you know, little head shimmy, things like that. You know, to be to be, you know, less of a target. Keep your keep your opponent guessing. Now, right here is where Des that, Destiny stayed in that too long. Yeah, she did. She stayed in there too long. She, she stayed in the pocket. Yeah. But that being said, I mean, she's she's exchanging really well. Oh, she is. I'm telling you, this is right. This is right where Destiny. I think you're going to see a strong career with Destiny. Her boxing is just getting so much better each time. Well, I think that's going to bode well. You know, her in MMA. Oh, oh both good, of them good cross. Good cross. You know, I'm sitting here watching uh, the Savage Nina change up her stance. She's going southpaw, orthodox, southpaw, orthodox. She's got the feints. She's bringing the hips back. I mean, she is. Whatever they're teaching at Saxon, man, she is by the book. Well, and, and, and she's scripted. Well, the other thing is she's got the timing down right now of Destiny as far as kicks and things go. So she's she's staying out of the way. See, as soon as she throws a kick, she's out of the way. Oh, yeah. Kick, follow-up punches, out of the way. So she's in, she's out. She's doing exactly what you're supposed to do. And there's the outside kick. Back up. A lot of steam in the second taken yeah. out of the hands of both these ladies. You're not seeing as much heat being thrown. Well, if you look at... If you look at if you look at the Savage, you know she keeps circling to the right. This whole, if you watch, yeah, she's going back to the left, she's going back to the left, she's changing it up, she's trying to find some angles to get at Destiny, but Destiny just keeps on moving forward, man. Yeah, and you can see, look at Destiny's oh, lead, lead leg. Oh, she's eating some shots there. Yeah, Destiny's lead leg is, is taking, taking some pretty good abuse. You know, Destiny going in, oh, there we go, she's striking. She's hitting right on the button. But I like how Destiny finishes off with a nice right. Everything she does, oh, she got caught. Last yeah, 10 seconds. You go, they're going, they're going, they're going. You see what I was talking about, though, with the chin right there? Did, did you see that with yep. the chin? Yep. And I don't know if the guys on the replay booth might be able to show us the last 10 seconds of that fight. But you'll notice when Destiny gets really aggressive to come in, she, she her body gets higher. Right. It, it raises. Would and so you, when it raises, that's what happens. Would well, you think that has anything to do with her not being the taller fighter, being the shorter fighter, that she has to bring her chin up? I, under, I understand, strikes. but if you're going to do that, you need to come in low right. and then and then come up. Mike Tyson was doing that. Well, yeah, was yeah, yeah Tyson fighter, was. So he right. always kept tight. So you stay you stay low and, until it's time to come high right. because you want to be a harder target to hit. I'll tell you right now, right now, Nina's doing everything right. I'm not saying that Destiny isn't. Well, I want to see Destiny add something to the flavor. With her being the shorter fighter, I want to see Destiny go in for an uppercut. Well, that's the thing. But again, it's going to come down to movement. And you can't just, unless it's been trained into you before, right. you can't just say, hey, look, we need you to give, we need to give you a Tyson movement. Your movement needs to be more of a Mike Tyson going in. If I'm Destiny, I forego the, I, I just get rid of the kicks. Here we go. Here's, okay. here's our replay. Walk you through this. Now, right here, see how she comes forward? Oh, yeah, her head is coming her up. Head is, her head comes up as she's coming in. And, and that allows her to get get checked. 
by Christina. Christina's checking her with her own punches, as opposed to having forceful punches doing doing dirty work. You know, I got to take my hats off to both fighters. This is going to be a uh, this is going to be a tough one to score. Uh, Do you think? No, no. Okay. No. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm so honest. I, I, are you obviously, two, I'm a fan of Destiny. But are, right? are you two to one? I, 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 two rounds to one right I, now? I, I'm two, no, I'm two rounds to zero. Oh, really? We're only okay. on the third round right here, final round. Yeah. There's only three rounds. So you said two to one. What the I hell mean, are you talking about? <laughs> Wake up, man. You've been, okay. God dang. Are man. you going one for one or two for one? <laughs> I'm going, going two, two rounds two for rounds. Christina. Okay. Oh, so right. rounds for Destiny. What I meant to say, let's <laughs> rewind that. Everybody, everybody hit your DVRs and rewind that back. Give me another chance. I thought you were going to go one for one. A round apiece? Yeah. I don't see it. Okay. But that, again, that's me. Okay. I'm not the judge. But we, but my thing is, I got to tell you, man, this is a good fight for Nina. I saw Nina's first fight, and it was against Jennifer Chantaval. Wasn't a terrible fight. Wasn't a bad fight at all. But this, this is a fight that you can just tell that both of them have been looking for. Yeah. Oh wow, she's coming in strong with that front leg kick. Yeah, there now there now Christina is that's what I like. Christina used a front kick okay. to close the distance, but it wasn't a lazy front kick. It was solid. Now she, see she threw it with intent. This ref needs a quick I mean, come on, that ref needs to get in no, there. No, 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 no. I think Aaron's doing a fine job. Look at okay. that. I think that's a, I think that's good. You gotta remember Muay Thai can allow the clinch for a little bit to see if their takedown oh, takes place. She great front kick. Connected with that lead kick. It was a really great front kick. See Destiny has got to stop with that that right, excuse me, that left kick. Because it's not coming up high enough to do any damage. If she wants to throw the right, yes, throw your right kick. Otherwise, use oh. your hands. Well, there's a square. Two, two. two square crosses by Christina to Destiny. And that's what I'm talking. Destiny's got to move her head. Move your head. Move, you know, head on a swivel. Oh, she's got her with that, with that right kick. Run her foot. down. And there you just want to chase her down backwards. Then push, try to push her to the ground and punch her at the same time. And again, I'm sitting here. It's easy for me to say. I've been in there and done it. But but when you're in there, it's another just something else, right? Well, I mean, it's really interesting to see a boxer versus a Muay Thai artist. Yeah. Well, and, and, the, and the thing is, I, I, again, I go, Destiny, move your head. Move your head. Keep your head on a swivel. Go, go low, go high. Go low, go high. Don't give her there. Don't give her an opportunity to pinpoint where your head's going to be. If it's, if it's in a straight line the whole time, you're going to get punched. Sometimes now run backwards, run her backwards, run her backwards. Now punch her. She should have went in. There it is. And, and there she connects. And shouldn't have thrown that kick no. again. And, and, and I'm nitpicking, and I hope Destiny will forgive me. I'm nit, I, I'm nitpicking a little bit. I just I see where she right now she could be real successful, and that's with the if she throws the right leg like that and then follows up with her hands and, and move your head, stay low, then come up high on the inside. Christina, my advice to her, just keep doing what you're doing. Well, I'm listening to Oh, Destiny's that's a nice, that's, that's a nice little cross, got Christina coming in. Well, I'm listening to Destiny's coach, and she's saying, he's saying do a one-two, one-two, move in one-two. You got to be in there, too, because as soon as... But you need to come in one-two low, yes. and then uppercut high. Right. But see, you think that, that the sandwich is going to cut her off. Right when she sees that one, she already knows that that two is coming. Well, oh, that was a nice block. Yeah. And Destiny had a nice elbow block. And you could always go with, you know, switch it up, go 2 1. You know, oh, yeah. she's just. Yeah, yeah. She's so now it's. Down. Yeah, she's rocking, socking robots there. Oof, another good cross. Right now, like definitely, here comes the dirty boxing. Well, we'll see if we get that. Surprised Destiny hadn't tried a leg sweep or something like that. And here's a break. About two, two or three seconds left. We'll see. I mean, we I'm stoked about the fight. I really am. All right, that was that was a fight. That was a proving ground. I think yeah. that Destiny needed. Well, I tell you what, it's and, a good and, and Nina needed. It's for a, sure. It is. I, I, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a really a damn good fight for both of them. It really is. Because I'm gonna tell you, for Destiny, this doesn't this doesn't affect her career or whatever. Right. But what it does is it gives her some ring ring time, some experience with her striking. Right. She looked so good with oh. her striking. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of fighting action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges have scored the bout 29-28, declaring a winner by unanimous decision, the savage Nina Marie.
Nina, what's going on? We're about to interview the Savage Nina Marie. Nina, can you hear us? Yes, sir. Hey, what's going on, the Savage? Congratulations, you're two and zero undefeated in Muay Thai. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Thank you. So walk us through the fight. All three rounds, judges saw in your favor. Did you feel coming out of Saxons that you dominated all three fights or all three rounds? Uh, yes, sir. I felt like I am Muay Thai because I trained at Jinjir Muay Thai. So. Well, see, and I and I said the same thing. I said Antonio asked me. He goes, "What, what do you score this?" I said, "Oh, it's easy, 3-0. I mean, it, it was, you know, Destiny was, you know, Destiny's a very tough girl. Uh, her striking's improved. Absolutely, very tough. Yeah, and she her, her striking's improved tremendously. But I tell you, you. You were money tonight. You looked sharp all around. Thank you so much. So what was the game plan? Because let's tell the fight fans what they don't know is that your opponent changed the last minute. What was it like training for your former opponent, Caution Davis, and now having a switcheroo in the middle of the week? Um, I think the game plan overall was the same, just uh, touch, touch, setting up my kicks, making sure that uh, I'm going high, going low, and vice versa with hands and legs. You know, you had no problem picking your shots. Part of your game, you really kept yourself elusive. You switched up your stances nonstop, southpaw, orthodox. You changed up levels, high, low, jab, hook. Was there anything in this fight with this opponent that made it difficult at all? Uh, no, sir. Uh, I'm a come forward fighter. Uh, I think I'm an all around fighter and that's what I train to be. Uh, so I think I'm prepared for anybody. Well, that, that's what I, we want to hear. I agree. I agree. I tell you what, all I got to say is, <laughs> hey, hey, all I got to say is recover fast. Let's get you on the next card or the one after that because we'd love to have you back in here. Absolutely. That's the goal. Uh, See well, y'all next time. Thank absolutely. You, thank you very the much. Thank Savage, you. it is a pleasure to meet you and uh, keep things going over there in Saxons. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. You got it.